First of all, let me start off by saying greetings to students, teachers, parents, and all community stakeholders of the East Tallahatchie School District. Thank you for allowing me uh, to just share with you another uh, update here from the superintendent's report. Again, thank you to Mr. Jerry Brown and Willie Brandon of Community Funeral Directors for your support of assistance on our ACT and reading initiatives in the East Tallahatchie School District. The Community Funeral Directors have sponsored all of our, watch this, have sponsored all of our advanced eighth and ninth grade students to take the April ACT and have agreed to give all of our third grade advanced students a $25 Books A Million gift card. I also want to thank Superintendent Paul Moden. Again, want to thank Superintendent Paul Moden for the collaboration and exchange of ideas. Also thank Ed and Becky Meek, the Ed and Becky Meek Foundation for their support as well. And Superintendent Ike Hayes, thank you. Uh, I watched a board meeting and you guys had on the dashboard your accelerated reader uh, number of books read in your district at Jefferson Davis. Uh, uh, County School District. Again, thank you for that idea that I gleaned from you. I just want to give you a few updates, parents. Again, updates from the elementary school, the middle school, and the high school. Updates from the elementary school, over 2,000 books read at the elementary school. Kudos to our uh, K through four scholars at the elementary school. Again, kudos, K through four, a uh, job well done, reading 2,000, over 2,000 books at Charleston Elementary School. Update from Charleston Middle School. There's a student by the name of Cedric Richardson. Cedric Richardson, he grew 26 points from his first uh, assessment to his second benchmark assessment in science. Again, Cedric Richardson, thank you. Congratulations. Keep up the good work, man. We're proud of you. 26 points of growth at Charleston Middle School on his science assessment between first and second administration. Uh, I'm super excited about this one. At Charleston High School, Mr. Rice, uh, Assistant Principal Taylor, faculty, staff, student body at Charleston High School, watch this parents. Algebra 1 test. On their Algebra 1 uh, state test, 88% of our students scored proficient on their state test at Charleston High School in Algebra 1. 88% scored proficient. English 2, 28% uh, scored proficient. Uh, United States History, 73% scored proficient on their state test. Biology 1, 42%, 42% of our students scored proficient on their state test. Again, major shout out, Principal Rice, uh, Assistant Principal uh, Taylor, uh, Counselor Hartley, faculty, staff, uh, student body, Charleston High School. Thank y'all, congratulations on student achievement at Charleston High School on your state test. Again, parents, let me give you an update on our ACT initiative. Again, uh, parents, Make sure you get with the counselor where the counselor can help students sign up for the next administration of the ACT test. Again, get with the counselor, Counselor Hardy, and she can help students get registered for the next uh, administration of the ACT test. Um, here's some quick facts on our numbers. On our numbers at 8th grade, ninth grade, and 10th grade as it relates to our ACT initiative. Out of 80 8th graders, five have registered for the ACT test. Out of 80 eighth graders, five have registered. We need to get those numbers up, parents. Out of 90 ninth graders, parents, only three have registered. Only three have registered to take the ACT test for February the 11th, 2023. Out of 72 10th graders, only six, only six parents have registered for the February 11th, 2023 ACT test. Again, although we have uh, people that sponsor a few students, uh, we're working to get fee waivers as well. We have a few sponsors and we're working to get fee waivers, but parents, the major push need to come from, from you. Again, this assessment is $63. Again, this test is $63. Uh, there's a proverbial statement and we always like to say there's no silver bullet. Uh, here in the East Tallahassee School District, we want to correct that. Uh, proverbial statement. We want to say there is a silver bullet in the East Tallahassee School District. The silver bullet, parent, is you. Only you can help us with this initiative. Again, if the football team traveled to uh, Florida in the fall, we would get everything that they knew they needed. Hotels, we would burn gas, we'd get food. And I said we because all of us would have a buy-in in helping those football players get to Florida if we needed. 
I need the same energy academically. Again, I need that same energy academically, just like the city of Charleston rally around our football team, basketball team, baseball team, track, uh, sports. We need to rally around academics as well, too. Uh, in closing, in closing, parents, I want to take a second and respond to a couple of parental concerns. Number one, the ACT policy that we propose to the board does not just apply to football. Let me straighten that out. The ACT policy that we propose to the board uh, does not just apply to football. It applies to all extracurricular activities. Again, all extracurricular activities. Number two, you had another concern, parents. Again, higher ACT scores helps the football program because if all of our kids, watch this, if all of our kids have over 25 on the ACT, uh, our stands will be loaded with D1, D2, and D3 JUCO and NAIA scouts all up in the bleachers. Again, our higher ACT scores help the football programs because, again, if all of our students score 25 on the ACT, our fans and our, our stands will be loaded. Number three, now although I said 25, uh, we want them to thrive for a 36. 36 is the apex of the ACT test. Again, 36 is the highest score that you can make. Although I listed all of those different college levels, we want them to be able to attend Jackson State, Alcorn, uh, Jackson State, uh, Valley, uh, Jackson State and Southern, Jackson State and Prairie View. Y'all get the point. Y'all get the point. Number four, higher ACT scores help our coaches get a chance to become college coaches because the same scouts will see our coaches. Again, this whole ACT initiative not only helps the student, it helps everybody. It helps the entire community. And number five, lastly, higher ACT scores help our band and managers of the football teams because these same scouts get to see them perform as well as go back to their colleges and mention the band and managers. Again, parents, we can't do this without you. Teamwork makes the dream work. Thank you for another Superintendent Weekly Update. Thank you. God bless.